in real world uh, digital camera working in both bright and very dark condition. Uh, that's what people want. And usually image sensor is optimized for one of the extreme uh, light condition, with sacrificing or a little bit with the trade of performances for the other light condition. So the challenge is how to design image sensor that will be optimal for all light conditions that the uh, camera is looking for. It's actually a trade-off between pixel capacity, sensitivity, and readout noise. In the bright scene, uh, you want to have large pixel capacity so that camera can generate very large signal noise ratio. Uh, on the other hand, in the low light condition, the biggest parameter that benefit image quality would be readout noise and sensitivity. You want to have as small readout noise as possible to generate uh, good image quality at the low light conditions. And that was the reason why we come up with the uh, interesting pixel architecture. We call it a dynamic response pixel that uh, trying to do the best of both worlds. Provide best quality image at low light condition without compromising image quality at bright light. The idea behind uh, dynamic response pixel is illustrated on these slides. On the left, you can see the structure of the typical pixel that used in the industry today. And on the right, I will show the potential diagram that illustrates the operation of this pixel. Charge is acquired on the photodiet. Then you open transfer gate. Charge is transferred to the floating diffusion. And uh, now the biggest point of optimization of the pixel is the capacitance of the floating diffusion node. When capacitance is small, floating diffusion can handle small amount of electrons, but sensitivity is higher and readout noise is smaller. When floating diffusion capacitance is big, floating diffusion can handle bigger amount of electrons, and that's how you provide good image at the bright light conditions. The schematic of the pixel is shown on the next slide. What we do, we actually connect or disconnect physical capacitance from the floating diffusion node by using additional switch. In uh, low conversion gain mode, capacitance connected to the floating diffusion. As I said, we have high, high pixel capacity and image quality is very good at high light condition. For the high conversion gain mode, we disconnect capacitance from the floating diffusion. We pixel features uh, low readout noise and high image quality at low light conditions. Let's look on some results of using dynamic response pixel in our latest sensor architecture. This image taken from APS format sensor for DSLR application. The sensor has uh, 16 megapixel and pixel size of 4.78 micron. At low ISO speed, 100 ISO speed, sensor provides very good image quality, and this is mainly due to the large pixel capacity of 50,000 electrons. When going to the low light condition, we are showing here image from ISO speed of 12,800. In this mode of operation, by switching to high conversion gain mode, we reduce mid noise floor significantly, and boost uh, sensitivity of the sensor. To show advantage of this mode, for comparison, we're showing on the right the same fragment, and the same image taken at the same high ISO speed, but in low conversion gain mode. This is what traditional pixel would look like. You can see a big advantage of image quality on the left side, a much smaller noise. Uh, in terms of the quantitative number, we are getting about 5 to 6 dB advantage of sensitivity, and this is very uh, significant for boosting image quality at low light conditions. We are uh, heavily exploring the dynamic response pixel architecture in different products. All applications that require uh, low light sensitivity, surveillance, automotive application, digital still camera, video application, DSLR, all of them will benefit from dynamic response pixel technology. We have several products in the market already using this pixel architecture. Uh, one megapixel sensor for automotive market with 3.75 micron pixel. Another example is a VGA sensor with 3.6 micron pixel for PC market. So going forward, we continue 
improve this technology, looking on different implementation of the same idea, and we believe that this will greatly benefit Aptina products.